Today we're going to be drawing the life of James Lee. James Lee was born in San Jose on August 31st, 2004. This is James and this is what he currently looks like. Um, he has glasses and yeah, that's basically a pretty accurate representation of what he looks like right now. Um, he has an older brother and um, that's his older brother there. Um, his older brother is six years older than him and they claim to have a good relationship with each other which is always wholesome to see um after san jose they moved to fremont where he lived for 17 years of his life um for in terms of schooling he went to warm springs elementary school um it, he says that it was he, he had like a memorable time there um this was during his elementary years was when he started exploring his passions and his hobbies and his interests starting with piano and he seemed to be very musically inclined at the time so he really he did commit like a lot of time to perfecting the art and just learning more about music theory and music in general he also took up playing the violin um the violin is one of the hardest is actually the hardest instrument to start learning and he followed through with that for almost five years of his life um and yeah that's basically what he did in middle school i mean in elementary school moving on to middle school um he talks about where it, it was where he got good grades for the first time in his life and it inspired him to be more academically ambitious he also made a good um he made a good friend group he met his best friends that accompanied him throughout the rest of his life um he also started um getting romantically involved with women and girls at the time and um he he claims that this was all like a character development arc um his friends and this is when they moved to irvington high school um he had a he had a group of friends with him and they all thought it would be a great idea to join the marching band um it was an extremely fun part of his school and life and but it did really take up a lot of his time it was a huge commitment that he did not really know before joining it um he still remained academically ambitious um although he didn't have to study as much to get good grades so clearly he he just got better at the game um and that was when march 13th 2020 covid19 hit the covid19 pandemic sent the world into a state of shock and something that it's going to take decades to recover from um everyone was expected to mask up and social socially distance and the world was put into a state of like lockdown and um it was really hard to travel anywhere it was really hard to meet with friends um he during high school he met his best friend sean um who i haven't really drawn but they couldn't really hang out and they couldn't um meet because of covid um but covid also brought a lot of other problems for james he ended up um, becoming unhealthy and gaining a lot of weight that he didn't he didn't want to gain um he realized the importance of like taking care of his own health and making sure that he is accountable for taking care of himself like that and he started working out he started eating better he started managing his time better he started getting getting up on time sleeping at a reasonable hour this all improved his health and um it also made him important sorry it also made him realize the importance of healthcare and was one of the key factors in getting him getting him interested in the healthcare or the medical profession in the first place um it was um it was during covid-19 that he started researching health and going to the gym as stated and um he he was sure that he wanted to pursue this in college 
other reasons he wants to choose a, a career in healthcare is because um, he knows he can make a difference by helping others in an incredibly significant way. Um, he believes the science behind medicine is truly fascinating. Um, and the profession itself is built uh, by, um, by trust and honor. And um, the life of a doctor is, is a position of power and, a lot of, and they get a lot of influence and respect. Um, there's never really a dull moment and he wants to explore this better at UCLA um, at the University of California, Los Angeles. Uh, yeah, and he got in March 18th, 2022 and began his um, fall quarter at UCLA um, in September of 2022 as well. And right now he's almost done with uh, the first year, his first, his first freshman year at college. And um, he, he said that he struggled a little bit because he didn't really know how to study, but made it through with good grades at the end after, um, after finding out how to handle the stress and handle everything at once. Um, and yeah, that's where he is right now, where he continues to pursue healthcare, remain academically ambitious, and definitely work on himself, work on building better and meaningful connections, working on his health, going to the gym more, as you can see in this picture, he, he is, a, is quite the gym rat, and um, yeah, and um, and this little graphic says that things are only going to go up for him um, from now onwards. So we can only hope to see um, all the good he does in at UCLA and after. And how he develops himself personally and professionally. And here we are. The end. <laughs>